Welcome. I am doing Route and Switch Essentials. I am doing Packet Tracer Lab 2.2.1.4 Configuring SSH. One of the things that I want to point out first is that our switch is locked. We cannot do anything. So our lab calls us to use the command prompt to tell net to our switch. So if you've never used Packet Tracer before, go ahead and click on PC1 and you should get this view. Once you get here, click on Desktop and here we have all of the additional features. I'm going to go ahead and click on Command Prompt. And from our Command Prompt, we should be able to Telnet to our separate devices. How we do that is Telnet put in the name or address of the device we want to telnet to. In this case, we actually want to telnet to switch 1, but if we type S1, it doesn't work. You actually have to tell it the IP address. So telnet space 10.10.10.2 space what port we're going to be using. It should prompt us for a password. I'm going to go ahead and type it in so I can log in. You'll notice that my cursor is now showing switch 1 and we are at a user mode. So first thing I want to do is I want to see, I want to uh, back up my configuration so if I mess up I can reload. So how we do that is we're looking for some type of copy command. But from our user mode, we don't have anything. So we're going to go ahead and jump one privilege level up. Enable. Notice that our uh, prompt is now switch and a pound. So we're now in our privilege mode or user exec mode. I'm going to do question mark. And I'm looking for the word copy. There we go. We have copy. So I'm going to copy. What am I going to copy? I'm going to use question mark to find out. I want to copy my running configuration oh, helps if I spell it correct. Config. I want to copy my running config to my start config. I do not like packet tracer. Oh, that's because it does not like the fact that I did copy copy. So I'm just going to go ahead and type it over again. Copy. Running config. Startup config. That way we can take the running configuration and copy it to our startup config. It's going to ask for a destination file name. We can name it, or we can just leave it startup config, and that's what I'm going to do. You'll notice that once we get the OK, the startup config has been backed up. Next step, we need to show the current configuration and note that the passwords are in plain text. Show right now. Enable password. It's in plain text. So we have to do something that will fix that. We can actually, it's a service that will encrypt passwords. Is there a service at this prompt? No, there is not. So we're going to have to go up one more level, which is our global configuration mode. And here we have a, ser a service. And it happens to be that our service is for password encryption. The so service password encryption. That's all you had to do to set up password encryption. So let's verify. I'm going to do another show run. And there we go. Our password is now encrypted. So we've taken care of 
backing up, encrypting our password, and verifying. Next, we need to set the IP domain name and generate a SSH key or an encryption key for our, for our SSH. All right, so how we do that? First, I want to set up my domain name. So we have to be in config mode, configure terminal, and we set that up by doing IP domain hyphen name space what is our domain name? Our lab calls us to do netacad.pka. That's all we have to do to set the domain name. Next, we need to set a crypto key. So crypto key generate and we are doing a RSA key. How many bits? Our lab says 1024 and our key is now set. When you're going to go on to part two, step two, create an SSH user and reconfigure the VTY for SSH only. So how we do that is we're going to set up a user username administrator we're going to set it so that it's a secret password and the password we're doing is Cisco you have to tell it username give the appropriate username secret and that will make the Cisco password secret if you take secret and you replace it with this password it will not be encrypted. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, next thing we have to do is we have to configure our line VTY 015. And we are going to allow for transport. Transport. We want input only SSH. We want login local. That way the login will be our local username. And the last thing is to remove. If we had a password at our line, we're going to do no password. Now remember, the no in front of any command will get rid of that command. And that should actually be it for that part of the lab. I'm going to go ahead and exit. And exit again. I want to do a show run just to make sure. Our username is administrator. Our password is secret. Our IP domain name is set correctly. Our SSH is set up. For our VTY 0 through 4 and 0 through, or sorry, 0 through 4 and 5 through 15. There is no password or anything. That should be all be good. Next, we need to verify SSH. So I'm going to go ahead and, oops, I have that finger to the command. Package Eraser likes to uh, punish you if you fat finger things. I meant to type exit, not end. And there we go. Our telnet session has finished. So part three has us verifying our SSH. So let's go ahead and try telnetting again. And it should actually open and then be closed because we are not allowing for telnet anymore. We have to do SSH. So, SSH, we have to give it SSH hyphen L and our username and target. So, SSH hyphen L, username is administrator, and target is 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. 
tool. Our password should be Cisco, all lowercase. And there we go. We are in. Telnet should fail. SSH should work. And that is actually the end of this lab. Let's go ahead and verify we've completed it by checking results. Go to assess items. Oh, it did not like our username. Go ahead and go back and see what's going on. So, it does not like the fact. I'm going to do a show run to see what's going on. Username is administrator. And that is correct. Okay, so my lab was slightly different from the lab when I opened it the first time. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure. We're going to remove our user administrator because I did it as administrator with a secret password. The instructions say just a regular password. So you have to pay attention to your instructions because if it says a secret password, then it's secret. If it just says password, it is going to be password. Okay, now let's go ahead and do another show run. Here we go. Username, administrator, and there is our appropriate password. So we should be good to go now. Let's go ahead and check our results. There it is. Because one of the big things, the lab sometimes will say secret, sometimes will say password. So you have to pay attention. I wanted to thank you guys and hope you guys have a great night.